by performing the following auspicious deeds a shudra becomes a brahmana know that this is my view birth sacraments learning and offspring cannot be the reason for someone being a brahmana what <laughs> what is going on here <laughs> what did we just read good conduct alone is the reason are bhai ye kya hai Uma said, "Oh illustrious one, oh destroyers of Bhaga's eyes and Pusha's teeth, so Pusha Danta Bhide and Bhaga Netra Bhide, oh one who destroyed Daksha's sacrifice, Daksha Dwara Hara, oh three-eyed one, I have a great doubt." In ancient times the illustrious Swayamvu created the four varnas how went through what karma does a vaishya become a shudra through the practice of what dharma does the reverse progression happen a pratiloma the upward progression and shudra becoming uh, a shudra becoming a vaishya is the pratiloma okay does this reverse progression happen through what karma is a brahmana born as a shudra oh lord through what karma does a kshatriya become a shudra oh oh god oh bhutapati lord of beings shiva's name i have a doubt about this please tell me Through what kind of nature can the three varnas become brahman brahmans maheshwara replied o oh goddess the status of becoming a brahmana is difficult to obtain it is my view that brahmanas are naturally auspicious while kshatriyas vaishyas and shudra are naturally not auspicious through wicked deeds of karma brahmanas are dislodged from their position though they have obtained the status of the best varna they are flung down from there If a kshatriya or a vaishya follows the dharma of a brahmana and earns his living through what is specified for a brahmana he obtains the status of a brahmana if a brahmana gives up what is meant for him and follows the dharma of a kshatriya he is dislodged from the status of being a brahmana and is born as a kshatriya the status of being a brahmana is extremely difficult to obtain however having attained it out of avarice or confusion if a brahmana undertakes the tasks of a vaishya the brahmana becomes a vaishya That is also how a vaishya becomes a shudra a brahmana who is dislodged from his own dharma becomes a shudra a person who has been ousted from his own varna goes to hell a person who has been dislodged from the from brahma's world is born as a shudra o oh, immensely fortunate one a kshatriya or a vaishya who deviates from his own dharma and karma and follows the karma of a shudra it is dislodged from his own varna and is born as one whose varna is mixed mixed varna Such a brahmana, kshatriya or vaishya can also become a shudra. A shudra engaged in his own dharma, one who is pure and conversant with wait wait wait. A shudra engaged in his own dharma, one who is pure and conversant with gyana and vigyana. Gyana is knowledge gleaned from the sacred texts and the guru and vigyana is that obtained through inward reflection, okay? A shudra engaged in his own dharma one who is pure and conversant with gyana and vigyana and knowledgeable about dharma one who is devoted to dharma obtains the fruit of that dharma o goddess in this connection the brahman has also been spoken about those who desire success in the pursuit of dharma must be devoted to adhyatma beyond the atman that is met- metaphysical o goddess the food cooked by an ugra someone with a kshatriya father and a shudra mother is condemned food cooked collectively or at the time of birth or death is also condemned when the cooking of food is announced publicly or when that food has been cooked by a shudra that too must never be taken okay so it's not exactly specified that whether that, that shudra can become a Brahm, brahmin or not oh goddess gods and great souled ones gods and great souled ones always condemn food cooked by a shudra it is my view that what has emanated from the grandfather's mouth is sufficient proof If a brahmana dies with the remnants of food cooked by a shudra in his stomach or offers oblations to the fire or performs sacrifices with such food he obtains the status of being a shudra Vivek Devra is saying we have translated this literally but this may mean offering oblations to the digestive fire okay because of the leftovers of food cooked by a shudra such a brahmana is expelled from the status of being a brahmana and becomes a shudra there is no need to reflect on this if a brahmana dies with the remnants of food cooked by any varna in his stomach that brahmana attains the status of the varna by whose food he has sustained himself the status of being a brahmana brings happiness and is extremely difficult different to obtain having obtained it if a person shows it disrespect by eating food that should not be eaten he falls down from that status of being a brahmana a drunkard one who kills a brahmana a thief a robber one who breaks his vows 
an impure person one who does not study a wicked person a greedy person one who performs wicked deeds a deceiver one who does not observe vows one who is the husband of a vrishala lady vrishala is a synonym for shudra though it has some specific meanings too uh, one who is the husband of a vrishala lady a pimp a person who sells soma and the person who serves those who should not be served such a brahmana falls down from the status of being a brahmana one who has intercourse with his preceptor's wife one who hates his preceptor one who loves reviling his preceptor and one who hates brahmanas such a brahmana falls down from the status of being a brahmana o goddess by performing the following auspicious deeds a shudra becomes a brahmana and a vaishya okay we got a confirmation guys by performing the following auspicious deeds a shudra becomes a brahmana and a vaishya becomes a kshatriya this should end all debates a shudra because Bra- brahma puran is not a, a a sanitized whitewashed arya samaji text right it was saying things pretty much that a modern liberal would 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 bleed from the eyes if they read this thing even that text is pretty clear that varnas change anyone can become any varna by performing the following auspicious deeds which we will now learn about a shudra becomes a brahmana and a vaishya becomes a kshatriya a shudra becomes a vaishya by properly undertaking all the tasks recommended for a shudra offering hospitality to everyone and eating the leftover food carefully attending to and serving the superior varnas showing respect to those who are superior always remaining established on the virtuous path always worshiping gods and dvijas observing the vow of offering hospitality to everyone attentively having intercourse with his wife at the time of her period being restrained in diet being skilled by searching for virtuous people and not eating meat in vain okay not meeting eating not eating meat in vain means eat not eating the meat of an animal which was not killed via uh, pashubali okay so basically a shudra becomes a vaishya by by being a very good shudra incidentally because all the tasks that were mentioned here are the tasks of a shudra anyway but doing that he becomes a vaishya interesting a vaishya becomes a brahmana by being truthful in speech by being free from ahamkara by being bereft of the opposite pair of sentiments by being accomplished in conciliation by always performing sacrifices by studying by being extremely pure by being controlled by be, by doing good deeds towards brahmanas by not being envious of any of the varnas by following the vows of a householder by eating twice a day by eating leftovers by following a restrained diet by being without desire by not speaking about himself by performing agnihotra sacrifices by following the rites and offering oblations into the fire by being hospitable to all guests and eating leftover food and by maintaining the three fires okay ahavanya ahavanya garhapatya and dakshinatya the fire that burns in a southern direction these are the three fires this is how a vaishya becomes a brahmana a pure vaishya who deserves to be born in a kshatriya lineage is a true vaishya if a vaishya remains clean since birth he is born as a kshatriya if he is consecrated clean and devotes himself to the vows he becomes a brahmana he performs sacrifices with copious quantities of dakshina if he studies and always resorts to the three fires he goes to heaven a kshatriya must follow dharma and protect the subjects his hand must always be wet uh, wet meaning uh, he must be generous one touches water before any act such as that of giving donations in that sense the hands must always remain wet of a kshatriya okay pure in his discrimination he must always distinguish the true from the false to obtain success in the pursuit of dharma arth and kama he must use his staff of dharma to burn down uh, to, to burn down okay uh, to burn down his sins okay he must be controlled in his tasks and uh, take a share of 1/6 as taxes he must not be addicted to carnal intercourse and must be readily accomplished in arth he must have dharma in his soul and must always approach his wife at the time of her period he must be controlled and must always fast he must be pure and engaged in self studying he must always sleep inside his house and not outside its boundaries with a happy mind he must always be hospitable and pursue the three objectives dharma arth and kama he must always tell shudras who desire food that it has been cooked devoid of gunas okay so he must always tell shudras who desire food 
कोट इट हैज बीन कुकड सो ही मस्ट नॉट एवर लेट शूद्रास गो हंगड़ी He should not glance at anything with selfish eyes of desire. He must gather everything required for gods and ancestors. In his house, he must worship them, even if that has to be done through begging. In his house, he must worship them, gods and ancestors, even if that has to be done through begging. Following the norms, he must offer oblations and perform agnihotra twice a day. For the welfare of cattle and brahmanas, he must advance into battle and even be killed. If he purifies himself through mantras to the three fires he becomes a brahmana kshatriya becomes a brahmana in this case he becomes full of gyana and vigyana he cleanses he cleanses himself and becomes accomplished in the vedas through his own deeds a vaishya who has dharma in his soul becomes a kshatriya a goddess o oh goddess these are the fruits of deeds for th- this is because this is basically shiva is still talking to talking to talking to uh, uma These are the fruits o oh goddess these are the fruits of deeds for those who are born in different classes classes by cleansing himself even a shudra can become a brahmana i'm quoting lord shiva in that way if a brahmana deviates from cleaning himself and from clean food he loses his state of being a brahmana and becomes a shudra o oh goddess if a shudra is pure in soul and conquers his senses and if he is pure in his deeds he becomes a brahmana brahma has himself said this i am quoting lord shiva who is quoting brahma if a shudra is engaged in his own tasks and purifies himself he becomes a brahmana know that this is my view birth sacraments learning and offspring cannot be the reason for someone being a brahmana what <laughs> what is going on here <laughs> what did we just read what did we just read so it's and this brahma puran is is written at around 1000 ad it's not even like yes varna varna shifting used to happen much before later on it got uh, solidified and rigid maybe the society was not following it okay but the the the, the scriptural uh, argument is crystal clear because it's an unsanitized non whitewashed text and not only was it so far claiming that any varna can become any varna there was no ambiguity about it being in a different birth because now lord shiva just said birth has nothing to do with it let's read the sentence once again birth sacraments learning and offspring cannot be the reason for someone being a brahmana good conduct alone is the reason are <laughs> bhai ye kya hai i will have to of course edit this entire part and and release it uh, separately because there there are only there are only five people watching in this holy sh- good conduct alone is the reason in this world those who are brahmanas are characterized by good conduct if he is established by good conduct even a shudra becomes a brahmana or oh, one with the beautiful hips <laughs> it is my view that a brahmana is one in whom the essence of the brahman exists if the nirguna who is devoid of gunas and sparkling brahman if the nirguna and sparkling brahman exists that person is a brahmana if a, if if the nirguna and sparkling brahman exists that person is a brahmana o oh goddess such unblemished people indicate what should be done in different states brahma the creator of subjects and the one who bestows boons has himself said this the brahmana is like a giant field that is roaming around on its feet the brahmana is like a giant field that is roaming around on its feet a beautiful oh beautiful one if anyone sows seeds in this field that act of agriculture yields fruits after death if a person wants to be content he must always think of adhering to the virtuous path his conduct should be characterized by adhering to the brahmana's path okay a person who is a householder should study the samhita texts at home and any arranged collection of texts the word is applied to various uh, texts he must always be engaged in studying but should never resort to teaching for earning his living such a brahmana is always established in the virtuous path he offers oblations into the fire and studies 
Okay, he offers oblations into the fire and studies and is fit to be merged into the Brahman. O oh goddess, having obtained the status of being a Brahmana, having obtained the status of being a Brahmana, one must always seek to protect it. O oh one with the beautiful smiles, he must engage in his tasks and receive gifts from worthy donors. I have thus told you the secret <laughs> about how a Shudra can become a Brahmana and about how a Brahmana can be dislodged from Dharma and become a Shudra. Okay? That rests all debates. All debates. And uh, and of course, whether the Arya Samaji Manusmriti can really be blamed that much or not. Okay? This is, Brahm- this is Brahma Puran. It can't get any cl- m- more clearer than this. Shiva had to say beautiful lips. <laughs> and we are rewarding people for being Shudras. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> Jai Shri Ram indeed, yes, yes, and uh, after this moment, I I will never again uh, doubt ever from calling myself a very 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 proud cutter Hindu. All ambiguity ambiguity is gone, guys. Also, of course, there are some ambiguity whether how much you have to believe exactly in the specific uh, ritual or not. I see the value in rituals, but at least the caste question is answered for me. Jaya, jaya, hey,